Hello everyone, I'm Brian Crydragon, and welcome back to Doki Doki the Andere Club. <coughs> Excuse me. I found Sayori patiently waiting for me outside of the school. We'll let the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders about what Monica said earlier. Are you okay? Are you okay? Huh? Oh yeah, I just zoned out for a bit. But that's supposed to be my job! Hey, I zone out all the time. At least I had Sayori to enough my spirits. Maybe it was a bad idea to get hydrated before this. At least I had Sayori to enough my spirits. Still, though, I'm interested to know what's going to happen at the club tomorrow. Hmm, I'm gonna see yours called Yandere Club. Hi again. You should have an array on us. Monica. Monica turned and left on the other side of the room. Well, I'm back at the literature club to apparent dismay. It was some nice to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. That being said, I'm very happy you decided to join us. I'm happy you joined us too! I think it's really gonna love up. Let's that again. I think he's only gonna lock everyone up the club. Hey, maybe you want to. Don't worry, guys. He always gives us his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Can I, um. What did she say? Oh dear, those eyes, it starts already. Oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, what was that about? Oh, you always just go to weird sometimes! That's right. But... Which I was? That's right, I think you should focus more on... Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. You should focus more on me than her. Actually, I think you should spend more time with me. We both like manga, and this is a literature club after all. So Yuri and Natsuki seem to be staring each other down. Oh, Lord, hard-boiled egg. Why do you do this to me? So Yuri and Natsuki seem to be staring each other down, and Yuri is staring at a... Oh... From the corner of the room. Glancing at Monica, I see she's looking out the window, but I'm sure she can hear our conversation. Looks like it's up to me to remedy this situation. Uh, hey, hey! I'll spend some time with everyone today, Yuri included. Yuri's head perked up as she heard that. Neither Sayori, not, neither Sayori nor Natsuki seemed. Truly happy with the compromise, but this is the best I could do. From across the room, Monica stared at me and shook her head disapprovingly. Okay, fine, but I guess we go first. No way, I want to spend time with him first. And we are back to square one. Monica finally decides to walk towards us. I can only hope she's going to try and help me. Hey guys, how about we give our new club member a bit of space? This is his first meeting after all. It was actually impressive just how quickly Monica changed her expression and tone. Now you're just trying to s Yeah, I hear that. Now you're just trying to steal him away from me! Hey, he was my friend first and I was the one who brought him to this club so he's mine! If I may, I'll if I may, you all need to calm down. Are these guns intimidating you? Just come with me. 
Monica got close and whispered to me. I told you you should never have come here. So now I'm starting to think she was right. I only should have heeded her advice from yesterday. Monica, you're awfully close to him right now. I think you're generous and he never said he wanted to spend time with you. Yeah, don't butt into this, Monica. I don't care if you're club president. Monica gives me a glance as if to say, get out of here. And even if I was misinterpreting what she was trying to say, I think I'd better leave. The girls were distracted, yelling at Monica, so I quickly enough the woman mouth the words, thank you to Monica on my way out. Despite school and wounds, I ran down the hallway as fast as I could, always worrying that if I look back, I'd see one of the girls did I just say gongs? Oh god. It's not a combination of gongs and dogs because as I discovered yesterday there is a haunted doll named Monica. Despite school wounds I ran down the hallway as fast as I could. Always worrying that if I look back I see one of the girls following me. After leaving school, I ran back to my house and stayed there for the rest of the day. Monica was clearly right about what she had said before. I shouldn't have gone to the club. But why is all this happening? I've known Sayori for years and she's never acted like that. Yuri and Natsuki seem to be behaving strangely as well. If I didn't know it would be getting, if I didn't know the weather would be getting like this today, I'd uh, find this creepy. In the midst of my thoughts, the doorbell rang. Don't answer it, you idiot! I'm not expecting anybody, which means it can only be one thing. One of the girls are here. Do not answer it. Thinking it over, Sayori's the only one who knows where I live, so it must be her. I go downstairs, but I'm still not sure if I should open the door or not. I don't think I'm comfortable being alone with Sayori after today. I know you're in there! Open the door, please! Oh god, what do I do? Please! Oh, screw this, I'm getting the blasted Kleenex. Damn you, seasonal allergies! <laughs> I've decided that door is staying closed, locked, and sealed. And as I thought it was until the door started to open. Oh god. I know you keep your key under the doormat! In retrospect, it might not have been the best place to hide it. I try to act natural as Sayori takes a couple of steps into the house. You don't keep your key under a doormat, you keep it on, on your person! Oh, hello, Sayori. What is it that brings you here at this hour? 1.35 p.m. I... Ah, wrong voice. I don't think I did a very good job. I just really wanted to see you. I felt really bad after we scared you away from the club earlier. Oh, don't worry about that. I just wasn't feeling very well. Yeah, tell me about it. But you seemed fine this morning. Yeah, I must have caught something during class. I fake a cough. <coughs> but I don't think she buys it. Are you lying to me? I'd be really upset if you're lying to me. 
I don't like the sound of that. The sound of... Let's run it again. I don't like the sound of that. The tone of her voice throws me off too. Of course not, his sister the whole called, that's all. Sayori continues to look at me with doubt. Well, let me nurse you back to health, then. No, that's... No. No, let me help you! I... Oh, God, Lord's eyes. That's not normal. I insist! That is a face I've never seen Sayori make in my life. My sentiments exactly. It creeped me out again. Actually, actually, no, it doesn't. Sayori, please leave. I have to get to bed. But you're sick. You need someone at your side. Someone like me. I'll be by your side forever. Words weren't working. She was far too insistent. I didn't want to do this. I felt like I had no other choice. I quickly pushed Sayori back out the door and closed it instantly. She dropped the key and she fell back so it was on my side of the door. I locked it quickly and picked up the spare key to hide somewhere else later. Don't hide it. Keep it on your person. Sorry Sayori, I just really don't want to pass on my call to you. I don't care about getting sick. I just want to be near you. I didn't say another word. I just walked back upstairs and prayed that she nor anyone else would try to get into my house again. Now let me explain. I don't want to be here, but I need to learn about what's going on. And the only person who knows about it is Monica. Don't do it. So my plan is to rent on the club room. Don't do it! Quickly convince Monica to go somewhere else with me and have her inform me of what the hell is happening. Don't do it! I took a couple of deep breaths, counted down from there, and opened the classroom door. Oh, God. And Monica's not even fucking here, and that's just great. Now Suki looks like she's on a sugar rush or something. <laughs> I was just waiting for you. Don't worry about last night. I forgive you. It's impossible to stay mad at you after all. I skipped class to get to the club room early just to make sure you didn't get here before me. I want to spend every second I can with you. They kept fighting and pushing each other to get closer to me. I backed away, but they were adamant. I need to tell you that I love you. I always have. I want to always be close to you. No, don't spend any of your precious time with that. Oh, I focus your attention on me, and only me. Your body is so... F your body is so nice, so toned, well built, and your skin is marvelous. I'd love to just open you up and crawl around in it. The girls continued to modestly shout. At this point, my back was against the door that I had walked through moments before. This isn't just like what happened yesterday. This is worse than yesterday. Far worse. Wait a minute, everyone! They all quieted down. Where's Monica? They remained quiet. Uh-huh, you were the... Try that again. Haha, uh -huh, you're really concerned for someone like her. She could never love you as much as I do. I, be I began to feel the worst. What happened to Monica? And those three, they wouldn't have. They're obviously crazy, but there's no way. Suddenly, the door I was leaning on opened, causing me to stumble backwards into the hallway. I'm here for you, now let's get out of here. Monica grabs my wrist. Excuse me. And runs down the hall and pulling me with her. No, you fool! Don't go with her! We need to hide. For a girl, Monica can run pretty fast. I had a hard time keeping up with her. 
Monica and I found a classroom on a different floor to hide and they wouldn't find us here. We both worked up a sweat running here, but I have a but I have plenty of energy left from sheer adrenaline. Monica, please tell me what's going on. Monica was panting, but she looked up at me. Keep your voice down, I don't want them to hear you. What is it? What's what is it that's wrong with them? It's hard to explain. I don't even fully understand. Just know that some evil person infected our world and changed their behavior. What? Who? And how? Like I said, it's hard to explain. Just be glad we found a place alone. We need to be away from them. I know that we do, but is there any way to put them back to normal? Well, I don't know. There has to be way. I can't let Sayori and the others act like this forever. But don't worry about them right now. What do you mean? Don't you think... Don't you think we have bigger concerns? What could cost... What could possibly be a bigger concern than this right now? Well, I think us being alone like this is kind of nice. Monica, what are you... No. And here she comes. Come on, Macbeth. Don't you just want to enjoy the moment we have right now? After all, I feel like you and I haven't really gotten to know each other since we joined the club. Why don't we talk for a while? This day cannot get any worse. If Monica has been infected just like the others, I truly have no one to turn to. This place isn't safe after you run again, this time stopping for nothing. I quickly dashed into the doorway. I quickly dashed through the doorway and went into the hall. In the hall, who do I meet other than who I want to avoid more than anything? Now he is! Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri were all in the hallway right outside the door. I just have the worst luck. Oh no. You don't have to run! I just want to nurture you! I heard the door behind me. Out came Mon. 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 Oh my god. I can see some red in the middle of Monica's eye. I heard the door behind me open. Out came Monica, joining her pack. The four girls quickly had me surrounded. This wasn't good. Where was I supposed to go? Monica and Natsuki were on one side of me. Sayori and Yomi on the other. To me... To my left was a wall. And to my right... To my right was a window. If I was fast enough, daring enough, I could escape through the window. Monica and I had ran down a set of stairs when we were running. But it would still be a one-story drop. I might be scared, but something tells me this is my best chance of survival. I quickly open the window and hop to the ledge. Looking down, I see some bush that I could potentially land in. Not the best plan, I'll admit, but this is a dire situation. No. Without any further hesitation, I did it. I jumped out of the window into the bushes. It hurt. I mean, it hurt like a bitch, but... I was still able to stand up, and more importantly, I was able to run. And run I did. Not in the direction of the school, not towards my house, not to anywhere I knew. I just ran and never stopped. Whoever was responsible for changing the girls like they did, whoever the evil person is that Monica was talking about, I need them to undo their actions. I need them to take back what they did and stop this. I need you to take back what you did. Get rid of this mod. Delete it. Well, uh, do. And that was Doki Doki Yandere Club. I'm Brian Croydragon signing out. Stay shray!